have a circuit and let's see how to make it this is pir sensor passive infrared sensor it has three three pins ground out and vcc and i'm going to give ground black color out yellow color and the vcc that is the positive terminal as red color so i'm completed now here we have transistor bc547 and i'm going to connect it with 1k resistor this is 1k resistor so connect it to the center leg of this transistor as shown this is diode 1n4007 and connect it to the leg of transistor as shown and uh, keep in mind about the uh, diodes ring this is uh, relay and here we have two legs which we use for our circuit we connect it with our circuit over these legs and uh, relay uh, a small current is used to drive a large current that is uh, we activate this relay with a small current and uh, it's access a switch and i will show you how it works so connect the diode as shown Now this is the VCC of PIR sensor and join it with the batteries positive. And join it to our diode as shown in our circuit diagram. Take the black wire that is the ground of PIR sensor we need to connect it with the battery is negative and just connect it with the transistors free leg Now connect our PIR sensors out with the 1K resistors. I hope you can see and now you can clearly see it. Just connect it over there.
now i'm going to attach the switch which i have forgot and i'm going to cut the positive wiring which i have soldered so i'm going to connect the switch over there as shown in the circuit switch is clearly up to you. you if you want you can connect or else if you don't want you don't need to connect the switch as uh, you can just plug off the batteries adapter Now I'm gonna connect the 220 volt supply to one of the terminals and it's for the bulb uh, one that is it it's like a switch as you can you if you have your relay in your hand you will clearly understand what I am telling and it's really difficult to demonstrate through the video and when the magnetic induction comes over there when the current flows magnetic induction comes and the metal pieces are pulled together towards it so this circuit is completed that is 6 volt uh, in attracts due to the 6 volt a magnetic condition is produced and the switch completes in the 220 volt supply that's how the relay works now I am testing it and it works fine as you can see now we can test again yeah it's working fine now let's go and see how to connect your LAN line to this circuit and here we have the circuit board of an outdated telephone and I have to I have soldered to wires to the reader switch and now I am connecting to the relay so our circuit is complete by now and uh, let's place it inside a cardboard box it's up to you you can place it according to your wish and now let's check it uh, connect your uh, working telephones headset and uh, why we are using it is that we can when we dial the numbers we need to hear the dial tunes and also don't forget to uh, connect the line in and press it with a metal object so that the circuit get completed and you can hear the dialing tunes and I have dialed my number and I'm gonna place it over here uh, let's take it I wish that this video is useful to you at some point of time and if you like the video please to subscribe and share it with your friends and if you have any doubts regarding this topic then comment it below.